About a year ago, I put out a video on how to use the upload audio feature in Suno AI. But then I got this comment from Lacey Lotus Flower who asked, can you do a new one with the updated version? So let's get into it. I took a long break from Suno and I recently got back into it when they released the new version. And the new version is crazy. And there's not that many changes to what you can do with the upload audio feature, but the cover feature? Ooh. Now you can choose between extend or cover. All you have to do is go to audio at the top left and click upload. And I'm going to upload my song just at me next time, which is a emo banger. It's actually the first song I ever released using a Suno instrumental. I'm just gonna click continue. And we have cover selected at the top. This is what the original sounds like. I'm gonna type in the lyrics. Don't judge me for the lyrics. I was going through something, okay? It's very emo. I'm gonna go with heavy dubstep. And another thing I like that, this isn't exclusive to the upload audio feature, but they have this creative boost, which is really good. I just put in heavy dubstep. We click that and what? And then if you wanted to, you could go crazy, put that into ChatGPT, have a conversation, come back and just, you know, rework stuff. I think that was a great feature they added. And now we have some new features over here too, which I fucking love. I love this weirdness thing. I've been experimenting and making some really cool like glitch effects with this. If you want something that sounds good, I would suggest the highest you bring it to is like 60. We're just going to keep that in the middle right now. And then style influence is just how much the prompt influences the audio and audio influence is how much the audio influences the prompt they have it set to 25 so i'm just gonna assume that that's probably where it sounds best i'm gonna just do a couple of examples with having the audio influence at different levels and the best way for you to figure out what each one of these tools does is just to take them all the way to 100 percent and hear the exaggerated version of it but first we're just gonna do one just at default settings here and then I'll do one at 50 and then we'll try one at 100. Let's listen to what it made just with default settings and the creative boost prompt. Uh, remember, this is the original. And this is heavy dubstep version. The crazy thing is it captured all the harmonies I did. It messed up the vocal melody a little bit in the beginning, but it kept the fucking background harmonies and it got the chords right. It's just, it's crazy. As somebody who has been paid to create and produce dubstep tracks for people, the dubstep is not there yet. I don't think this would be accepted at Lost Lands. The cover feature is pretty fucking good. Uh, so let's listen to this version that has the audio strength at 50%. It actually sounds more out of tune, which is weird. That's actually a great rhythm for a drop though. But you can tell that it did take a lot more influence from the audio. Like for instance, right here, it did this lead that mirrors the lead vocal. And let's just listen to the version that's the audio influence that all the way at 100. Okay, what's interesting is the vocals sounded better and it captured that guitar melody a lot better, but the drop was worse, I think, because of the audio influence. So I think one way this could be really useful is to, if you have a song that you wanna cover and change into something else and you want it to stay as much as possible in the audio you had before, do one version where it's 100% and then do another version that's less so. So that way at different sections, if you want it to sound different, you can like 
kind of clip them together in a doll or something. By the way, that's something that I did for this song. So if that's something you want to see a tutorial on, let me know. And if there's anything else about Suno you want to know, let me know. Another feature they added is the speed, which I think is fire. We can take it up by 150. And then it just does the clip sped up. So you can make like sped up or slowed down versions of your song and you have an option to keep the pitch. But yeah, everything in the extend feature is basically the exact same as that first tutorial video. So if you want more on that, I guess uh, watch this one. But I'm not going to go through it here because it's the exact same thing. Thanks for stopping by.